What's up, people? It's your boy, Billy Mack. Another off-season preview for the Dallas Cowboys. We're looking at the safeties now. The main reason I separated the defensive backfield is because we're good. I think we're good at corner. I think we're perfectly fine at corner. Safety, though. Safety. And I'm not talking about the way they played. The safeties played wonderful this year. The problem is they were all on one-year contracts. So, uh, DeMonte KZ, Malik Hooker, Hooker, and, I mean, Javon Curse out of nowhere. Javon Curse, to me, he's a leader of this team. And with Dan Quinn staying with the Dallas Cowboys, I think Javon Curse is going to stay too. The question is, how much is he going to want? Now, as an offseason, and I haven't gotten to this, but when we get to special teams, as an offseason, I think the top two guys you can spend your franchise tag on are Brian Anger, the punter, and Javon Curse, the safety. Now, um, but recent news, they restructured Dak's contract to free up some money this coming year. So with that said, I think they're going to, I think the two big moves they're going to make is Javon Curse and Randy Gregory. They they freed up a lot of money to sign, I think, to sign both of those guys. Maybe even all three, uh, Randy Gregory, Javon Curse, and Brian Anger, the punter. But other than Javon Curse, you still got Malik, Malik Hooker's on a one-year contract. I think he got better as the season went on. And especially when he was in uh, Indianapolis, he was injury prone. No injuries this season. I say we take another chance with him. DeMonte KZ kind of, you know, disappeared. It was almost like he was playing very well at the beginning of the season and Malik Hooker wasn't, but by the end it was Malik Hooker playing well and DeMonte KZ we didn't even hear from. Um, We still have Donovan Wilson. He's still under contract. I believe, though, I mean – He's more of a box safety. He's not going to cover well, even though, and that's the crazy thing. He covered very well. The not not this, um, not this season, but last season, he played very well at the end of the season. So, I mean, maybe you know, but different coaching staff also. So maybe he's doing a different role. But um, as far as the safeties are concerned, I think first priority, first priority has to be Javon Curse. We have to sign Javon Curse. Not only did he play great, he was a leader of this team. And you need your leaders because this team's going to look significantly different. And and ultimately, when it comes down to it, I was going to save this for like the last video, but I mean. I mean, technically, special teams is the last video, but you want to keep your core guys. You need to keep your core guys, and your core guys are really, in a way, Randy Gregory, Demarcus Lawrence, Micah Parsons, Trayvon Diggs, Anthony Brown, and Javon Kurtz. If you can keep those core of guys together, I think regardless of who you bring in, this team's going to play very well on defense as long as you can keep those guys maybe you can get rid of one of them and the one I would get rid of is Demarcus Lawrence if there's a way you can move him and his money to free up some money because I don't know if you can restructure his contract right now I don't know if they're in a position to restructure it so if I had to choose one guy to move on from, it's Demarcus Lawrence. But and that's be, and it, it has nothing to do with his play. It's more so a, to do with his availability. We all know the best ability is availability, and the man's been injured. I don't even remember the last time he played a full season. So that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. If I was a GM and you put a gun to my head and you was like, you got to get, get rid of one, it's going to be the Marcus Ware. But anyway, I think we're, I think the defense is going to – I think the Dallas Cowboys are doing the best thing, the best they can to keep this defense intact. 
But we got a lot of questions on that offense. But anyway, that's for another video. It's your boy, Billy Mack, and I'll holler at y'all next time. Peace.